so you guys were expecting a video of me and my cousin I was trying to deliver that ran into some technical difficulties the audio on the microphone started cracking a lot and it was on every single video that we took and it's very frustrating because I tried using every type of platform I know that I can use to fix the audio and it was not working whatsoever so that being said I'm gonna just go over both of our game picks and hopefully uh, next week we could do it over again and fix the issue and hopefully it, it doesn't come back and bite us in the butt so here we go Miami has the Dolphins, the greatest football team. now before I dive into the picks I'm gonna go and try to set some rules uh, you guys could say in the comments how you guys would like us to go but either I'm gonna put an asterisk next to our records and I'm gonna like for the next picks that we do I'm either gonna put an asterisk next to our records saying pretty much that we start at week 9 or we could just get a bunch of losses which no one wants so I mean it can go either way you guys decide so how I'm gonna do this I'm gonna go over my picks then Matt's picks when we have three games that we picked scores for so I'm gonna see the scores when we when we get to there. so now we have the games so we're gonna have the first game of the week Thursday Night Football it's gonna be a Bay battle and if you guys don't understand what that means is Oakland Raiders and the 49ers San Francisco 49ers they're gonna be facing each other Thursday night at 49ers home and they are crosstown rivals even though they're AFC and NFC so they don't play each other that often they play each other every four years and so this year they play each other at the 49ers so this game I go with the Raiders and Matthew goes with the 49ers not much going on there both teams are like one and six one and seven so I just believe the Raiders actually have a better overall team and Matt thinks otherwise about the 49ers I believe they both have like decent teams just had really bad games and Garoppolo getting injured just really derailed 49ers season for sure really tough for them really tough for them I feel really bad and he's I'm a starting QB that has pretty good potential goes down you can really tell and you can really tell right now with the 49ers next we have the Bears both of our favorite second favorite teams uh, we both picked them against the Bills it's a no-brainer the Bills have just looked horrendous they really got they were hanging in there with the with the Patriots this past Monday night but they just could not hold their own towards the very end. Some stupid mistakes, pick six, and then Brady didn't even have to throw for a touchdown for them to win. That's crazy. Next game, we have the Buccaneers at the Panthers. Jay Jameis Winston is most likely going to get benched this game. He had a really bad outing against the, the Bengals, and then Fitzpatrick came in, led them, literally came back, tied the game, and then what else? And they just kick the game when you feel good but there's some fits magic there but I don't think this is so hard to pick there with that asset it made it a lot harder to pick but from pretty much from the beginning I had the Panthers going so me, me and Matt both picked Panthers there next we have the game of the week it's like we have the Chiefs at the Browns no brainer we're gonna pick the Chiefs there uh, Browns just don't have anything going for them right now. Chiefs have just an amazing offense that's just going to put up points on them. That being said, the Browns are in a tough position with their head coach and their offensive coordinator both being fired within two days of each other. They had a lot of problems there with each other. Don't know what's going on there in Cleveland. It's just really, really bad. Always. I'm going to skip this game. I'm going to mention this game last and you'll understand why uh, towards the end of the video. Next, we have the Steelers at the Ravens. We both picked the Ravens. I believe the Ravens has a great defense that backs up their offense. And they just, did they just get somebody? They just got Ty Montgomery from the, from the Packers. So, not much going on there. But Ravens have a great defense. And I believe if they make it to the playoffs, they might really be in the Super Bowl just because of their defense that's if they stay healthy stay intact and just stick to what they're doing because they're doing pretty good even though they're 4-4 four four. 
Then we have the Lions at the Vikings. It's a tough game. The NFC North is really just really messed up. Uh, but I think the Vikings pulled this one off. He also thinks the Vikings pulled it off. He had the Lions before, but they just straight away Golden Tate, one of their number one wide receivers. And, I mean, if you're still in the hunt to win the division, like, there's still a chance because every team is, like, four and whatever there. Yeah, so Packers 3-3-1, three and three and Vikings 4-3-1, Bears 4-3, and three, Lions 3-4. and four. I mean, you still have a chance, and they just trade away their pretty much the number one wide receiver. I get they have Kenny Galladay and, and Marvin Jones, but that third, also that third guy, Golden Tate, was really good, and he helped out that offense a lot. So, don't really understand that move. Hopefully, it doesn't bite them in the butt. Now, we have one of the last 1 o'clock games, and that is the Falcons at the Redskins. We split this one. Matt has the Falcons. I have the Redskins. The Redskins are on a pretty good roll right now, and I don't see them really losing to the Falcons with their depleted defense. I mean, they had a bunch of injuries that are key to their team, and I don't think it's going to go very well for them, especially with how the Redskins have been playing. And Adrian Peterson just came off a pretty decent game against the, who is it, the Giants. So, he, you know, he's still got some, some stuff there for him, and I believe... They'll just carry off from that win against the Giants and carry it into this one. First 4 o'clock game, we have the Texans at the Broncos. Very funny storyline. Demarius Thomas just got traded from the Broncos to the Texans. Not a re necessarily a revenge game, but it's going to be crazy. His first game back <laughs> at the Broncos is going to be the first game he plays with his new team. So that's pretty wild. Don't really see the move there for the Broncos trading them to them. I mean, they just had Will Fuller get injured against us on the Thursday night game. I don't see him playing too much, but he'll definitely get some snaps, especially since it's in Denver. Uh, we both have the Texans there because the Broncos defense, well, just the Broncos overall hasn't been producing quality games. Not enough to for us to both, you know, really think about that. And the Texans have been on a decent roll. They won five straight after losing their first three, so Texans are getting this win. They're going to improve to 6-3. and three. Next, we have a West Coast game. Chargers at Seahawks. Me and Matt both split this one. I'm going with the Chargers. They're on a decent roll. They're chasing the Chiefs for the AFC West crown. They're currently at 5-2, and two, and, you know, the Chiefs are 7-1. and one. I mean, they're just waiting for that one mistake that the Chiefs have, and... They had one mistake, and that was against the Patriots. Besides that, they haven't had much bad things go against them. He has the Seahawks. Seahawks at home. He likes Russell Wilson a lot. I like Russell Wilson, too. I mean, that guy is a pretty pretty nice guy, but there's just not much going on there in Seattle. Very young, but their defense is good. If the defense can hold off the Chargers, then, yeah, they'll win. But I just see the Chargers winning this one. Now we have what I think is pretty much the game of the week and pretty anticipated matchup, and that is the Rams at the Saints, the last 4 o'clock game. And the Rams are coming off a great win against the Packers, if you want to say great win with Ty Montgomery pretty much losing the game for the Packers with that fumble. Whatever. They, they're they 8-0, they're undefeated. Hopefully they don't stay undefeated for the rest of the season because then Dolphins' perfect season is nothing now. Everyone's just going to be like, oh, the Rams have the perfect season now. So, you know, Saints, I picked the Saints here. So does Matt. The Saints got to cut that, all right? So got to stop that right now. Uh, this is one of the games we've picked the scores. I have this a very tight game, and I have it as 34-35 with the probably Saints kicking a game winning field goal. Most of my games, uh, the next, the other game I pick, I have a game winning field goal for the other team. Matt has 38 to 33 Saints win. I have 35 34 Saints win. Next, we have Sunday Night Football Packers at Patriots. Very anticipated game. You know, Brady and and uh, and Rodgers have only played each other literally once, which is really mind-boggling to me because wow. 
it sucks to, that those two guys are on completely different conferences and they only see each other four years every four years so of course this was a Sunday night game where wouldn't it be so we both have the Packers winning just because we don't want the Patriots to win we never want the Patriots to win I was literally rooting for the Bills on Monday that was how sad it was but uh, so this one we have I have Packers winning 31-28 Mason Crosby is going to get that game winning field goal that he should have got last Sunday at the Rams and then he has Packers 34, Patriots 33. One point game. We'll see about that, Matt. We'll see about that. Next, we have the Monday night game. Titans at Cowboys. Both are 3-4. and four. Cowboys have a better defense than the t Titans, I believe. So I believe that's what's going to be the difference there. And I, I don't know. Marcus Mariota is just not... Not been doing too crazy this year. He's been injured a lot. He got injured in a, in the first game against us, and that game I feel like really screwed his season so far. But yeah, I have the Cowboys winning. He has the Titans winning. Uh, we we did scores for that one when we originally did it, but I'm just gonna scratch those off because I, I'm just gonna keep it simple at three. Next we have literally the game of the week. Jets at Dolphins, one o'clock. At Hard Rock Stadium. You already know who we're going with. We're going with the Miami Dolphins, guys. So this one, we picked the scores as well. We have, I have the Jets 14, Dolphins 20. I feel like it's pretty going to be pretty much similar to how it was last time. Because if not, it's going to be a tough game for both teams. And then he has the Jets 21, 23. I, that's more realistic, but... Sticking to my guns, 14-20 at 21-23. So hopefully next week I can have Matt with me and we can do this without the audio messing up. Because if it messes up again, then I'm just not going to do videos with him and we're just going to pretty much stick to this format, unfortunately. But uh, also, I'm not sure what we should do with the games, like with the scores. I'll probably just re review reviewed them at the end of the, uh, at the beginning of the next episode and not too much sure about that but that's about all if you like the video give it a thumbs up thumbs up over here you know and here Miami has the Dolphins the greatest football team